What is up guys? It is yet another Tuesday, which means another weekly reset inside of Destiny 2. We are going to go over all of the powerful rewards and pinnacle rewards and also check out Eververse and see what she has to offer. So, without further ado, let's get into it. For the Vanguard and the Strike playlist for this week, we have Void Singe is the Burn. Void damage increases slightly from all sources. The daily modifiers are Iron, enemies have more health and are not staggered by damage. And Heavyweight, power weapons deal more damage and more ammo is available. Completing three strikes will grant you a pinnacle reward. For the Nightfall, the ordeal this week, we have the Tree of Probability Strike. Completing three of these on the Adept difficulty will grant you a tier one powerful reward. For the 1,000, 100,000, excuse me, Nightfall, the modifiers are Shocker, when defeated, goblins spawn arc pools that cause damage over time. Champions Overload, this mode contains overload champions which cannot be stopped without an overload mod. Champions Barrier, this mode contains barrier champions which cannot be stopped without an anti-barrier mod. Equipment is locked, you will not be able to change your equipment after this activity starts. Match Game, enemy shields are highly resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. And Thune Stratagem, solar damage increased, knockback damage and distance increased. For the classic Nightfall playlist, we have the Inverted Spire, Sabathun's Song, and Warden of Nothing. If you still need to complete the 100k score or higher on any of these Nightfalls, you can complete those this week. In the Crucible playlist, in the Rotator section, Mayhem has returned this week, as well as Breakthrough. Completing four matches in either one of those two playlists will grant you a tier one powerful reward. In the core list, we have Rumble, Control, Elimination, Survival, Survival Freelance, and Classic Mix. Completing four matches in any one of these will grant you a pinnacle reward. In the Gambit playlist for this week, as always, we have Traditional Gambit and we have Gambit Prime. Completing three matches in either one of these playlists will grant you a pinnacle reward. For the Reckoning this week, we have the Swords Boss. So if you are missing any of the weapons that those guys drop, you are able to pick those up this week. On the Moon, going from left to right as always we have the garden of salvation raid completing each encounter in the raid will give you a pinnacle reward next up we have in the deep campaign mission completing this will grant you a tier one powerful reward yeah. <laughs> next up we have the nightmare slayer vendor challenge completing this will grant you a tier one powerful reward Next, we have Luna's Calling Vendor Challenge, the Memory Quest for Eris Morn. This will also grant you a Tier 1 Powerful Reward upon completion. The Nightmares this week are Skolos, Kale of Kales, Omnigul, and Zydron, the Gate Lord. If you are going for the Master Difficulty, the modifiers are Empath, Enhance Radar, take increased damage from melee, Champions Unstoppable. This mode contains unstoppable champions, which cannot be stopped without an unstoppable mod. Champions Barrier. This mode contains barrier champions, which cannot be stopped without an anti-barrier mod. Attrition. Regeneration is greatly impaired. Defeating enemies may create wells of light. Equipment is locked. You will not be able to change your equipment after this activity starts. Match Game. Enemy shields are highly resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. Champions Mob, this mode contains additional champions, and Torment of Omnigul, arc and aerial damage is increased. Moving on, next up is the Pit of Heresy. Completing this activity will grant you a pinnacle reward. The Flashpoint this week is on Mars. 
you will complete heroic adventures, public events, and lost sectors. Once you clear all of those, you will come up here and see Anna Bray once you've reached 100% and she will grant you a tier one powerful reward. The Warmind Bunker for this week is on IO. If you go to the bunker, you can pick up the two bounties, Legendary Splunker and Public Servant. Completing both of those bounties will grant you a tier three powerful reward. In the tower, going from left to right, we have the eight Gambit bounties. Completing these will grant you a tier one powerful reward. We have the Clan Vendor Challenge. Completing this to 100% will grant you a tier two powerful reward. Next, we have Banshee. If you complete eight of his bounties, it will grant you a tier one powerful reward. We have the eight Crucible bounties that grant you a tier one powerful reward. And finally, we have the eight Vanguard bounties that grant you a tier one powerful reward. For Eververse this week, as we always do, start on the first page. We have the Consecrated Matagram. Bosses have a chance to drop an upgrade module when defeated. We have the Glimmer Shard. Defeated bosses have a chance to create a Shower of Glimmer. We have Scavenger's Boon. Combatants defeated with Precision Final Blows have a chance to drop planetary materials. We have Siva Emergence Transmat Effect. That's interesting. <laughs> Next up, we have the Mercurial Affliction Weapon Ornament for Outbreak Perfected. We got that Trials of Osiris type thing. It's not bad. Next up, we have Infinity Cube Emote. If you're a fan of Osiris, you can pick that up. We have the Feline Fancy Emote. always a funny one going down to the next section for seasonal offerings this is everything that is available for this season which is ending soon so if you do not have any of these items you may want to pick them up uh, between this week and next week because they will be going away as the season changes in the archive section these are previously sold things from Eververse and if you do not have any of these you can go ahead and pick them up. In the Bright Dust section we have another emote. Alrighty so now they want us to be alcoholics. We have the Nucleus Shell. Yep that's very uh all right the perks are speed demon your vehicle takes less time to summon and reload your weapon while you ride which actually is a really good perk if you don't have it public defender increase loot from public events on all destinations and a random mod very uh nuclei i guess next up we have a sparrow the Immoderate Splendor. It's uh, actually a pretty simple sparrow. As always, we have the Custom Drive, the Random Mod, and the Destabilizers. Next up, we have the Nano Redux for the Raiden Flux chest piece. It's a nice ornament. I guess everything Siva inspired because of Fell Winners Lie. We have the Splice of Life for the Lord of Wolves weapon ornament. And that is a uh, Siva as well. Wow, there's a lot of Siva going on. I might actually pick that up though. I realize I just skipped over the Lux Riders. If you do not have these, you can pick these up. They have the nice snake on there. We have the Savage Haymaker. Yep. Pretty hardcore finisher. 
Next up, we have Nightmare Emergence, Transmat Effect. And we have Neo Pop Wave, which is just too much for anyone, but you know, do you. Next, we have the Gleaming Boon of the Crucible. After you complete a Crucible match, all players receive a reverse gift. We have the Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard. After completing a strike, everyone will receive a Eververse gift. And we have the three that we went over earlier. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. We hope everybody is continuing to stay safe out there. And we are going to call this one. We will holler at you guys again for the Where Is Zer video on Friday. But for now, we will see you guys later. Peace.